Hi there, welcome to another Steel Art Session with you. In today's session, we will use Steeler's watercolor paints to paint us to life. We first need to prepare our drawing on a separate piece of cheap printing paper. Rian will be using Stadler's trusty mechanical pencil to create the drawing. planks for the tabletop using a linear perspective. Then draw an oval on the table for the glass's base. After that, draw a vertical line in the center of the glass. Once you are happy with your guidelines, draw a ball for the top part of the glass. Draw another oval slightly above the ball for the rim of the glass and connect this to the ball. Then draw half circles for the stem of the glass. Use the same techniques for the wine in the glass. We first draw the big outline shapes for the grapes and then we draw the individual grapes. Remember to draw the grapes in front and behind each other. The bottle is drawn using basic shapes like a ball and cylinders. Using Stadler's full graphite pencils, scratch the back of your drawing. This will create a layer that will help to transfer your drawing to your painting surface. Secure your drawing and painting surface to each other by using paper clips. Then using a ballpoint pen, trace your drawing so that it transfers to the paper underneath. sure you have a palette and a water bowl at hand. The palette can be a small plate or anything that will be able to keep your paint and the water on the inside. Rian starts off by mixing a red and crimson for the wine. Look carefully at your reference image for bright highlight areas. You will need to use the paper's white color as white in your painting. mixes a brown grey colour with brown and blue for the wood. Follow the direction of the wood's grain. It is okay to paint it streaky. Keep layering in dark colours for the wood. brown, mix a yellow ochre colour for the bottle's label and make it darker with blue and brown and less water. Don't be afraid to play and experiment with your painting. Sometimes you can get a very unique and interesting effect if you let your paint do the work. Add more detail to the wood by painting in darker streaks for the grain. Keep the shaded area darker than the side that receives more light, especially underneath the grapes.
grapes, mix a purple color with crimson and blue. Keep the highlights pure white. We will later paint over this if necessary. Make the wine a deeper red by mixing brown and crimson. Not all of the wine is this deep red color. There is an area that is translucent and allows the light to pass through and makes the wine almost glow. Keep this area red. You can use the same deep red color to paint the seal on the bottle's neck. We will use a color very similar to the grapes. Remember glass is very shiny. Keep an eye out for those pure white highlights on the glass bottle. adding more shading to the bottle's shadow side. Time to continue with the grapes. Grapes are translucent and allow light to pass through them. Rian is painting this translucency with a deeper red color. You can use crimson for this. The stem of the wine glass has some serious dark colors in it. Think of the stem as a magnifying glass enlarging and distorting the background. You will see a lot of the background colors coming through and the woods color in the base of the glass. Keep the bright highlights pure white. rather dark where the light transitions from the highlight to the shaded area. Keep the deep red color bright. It is important to look carefully at your reference image to get this right. to try and make the background as dark as possible. Keep in mind that watercolor is naturally transparent and that you might not get the background as dark as you would with acrylic paint. It is perfectly okay if the background comes out a bit blotchy and uneven.
quite a few darker shadows underneath the grapes and other places that need it. Make the bottom corners a bit darker to make sure the point of interest is focused towards the middle of the painting. We hope that you've enjoyed today's session. We'll see you in the next one.